Baby names, baby names, baby names, baby names, baby names. <laughs> In this video, we're talking about the top baby names of 2021. Baby names, baby names. They are so hard to pick, oh my God. And my husband and I don't agree on any of them. We finally do have one, which I will reveal when the baby's born in seven weeks, but geez, it's hard. But I will say I do, I've liked so many more girls' names than I've liked boys' names. And so it does work out that we're having a girl because, or maybe it doesn't because now that there's like way more, <laughs> way more options. <laughs> this all started because it was really, really hard for us to come up with a name that we like and also agree on it. We weirdly only liked one name and uh, it was a boy's name and we're having a girl. <laughs> so not gonna work out. So we, he actually told me about this really cool app called Kinder. No, this video is not sponsored by this app at all, but it's really cool. It's literally Tinder for baby names. And so you just, like like you and your partner both get it you have a code so it like links your accounts and then you swipe like left or right or whatever I don't even know how tinder works because I've been in a relationship forever and then basically what happens is you when you have a match it tells you that you have a match and then it goes into a little category and then that's how you know that you and your partner liked a name. So I thought that was really cool and I'm pretty sure that's how we decided on our daughter's name, which I'm sorry, I cannot tell you just yet, but you guys will know in seven weeks when she's born. Some of the names that I saw in that app, I was like, what is happening here? Like I saw like names that were just a bunch of letters together. Like it was the craziest thing. A nice good wide range though, I will say, but uh, some of them I was like, what are, like are people naming their kid this? And I I'm pretty sure the answer is yes. The other sort of like controversial thing I sort of think about baby names and telling people your name before your kid is born is that people steal names. And that happened to my husband and I. And so that's why this time around, like we have a different name now and, I, and we're actually gonna use it because I'm actually pregnant now. Like before we were just telling people names that we liked, we weren't actually having a kid just yet, but then people took it and I was like, oh, I'm so mad. So anyway, we have a different name now but again, I'm keeping it completely under wraps because I don't want anyone to steal it. So some people know what it is, like are really close, like family and friends. And if someone isn't pregnant, then I'll maybe tell them. But if I know people are having kids soon, I'm like, this is because I refuse to have it stolen again. Anyway, you guys will know what it is very, very soon. I wanted to still sort of like reveal a list to you guys of beautiful girls' names that I absolutely love, but won't be using for various reasons. So here is 20 baby girl names I love, and won't be using. These are actually off of a list of the top 100 names for 2021. I basically just picked my 20 favorites and I'm gonna go through them with you guys. So number one and the most popular name was Olivia, which I'm surprised to learn that because I feel like that's been around for a while. It's a beautiful name though. I love Olivia so much. It's so like pretty and feminine, but we are not going with that for whatever reason. I don't know why. Number two is Emma. Emma is so cute. It reminds me of friends. It's just a very like cute feminine, pretty name but I just didn't see it for my daughter for some reason I just like I don't know why but I do I really love that name a lot number three is Ava I've always loved that name Ava as well it's simple it's short easy to spell hard to mess up <laughs> I do know a couple of Ava's so I feel like not that it's overdone but it's just like a little bit more popular and I'm not trying to like name her something that it's gonna be only her but I don't know it's just we're not gonna name her Ava is the bottom line number four is Sophia I love Sophia I've always loved loved the name Sophia. I don't love Soph. Well, now that I just said that, I actually don't mind it too much. Sophia, you know what? Maybe in the future, who knows if we have another girl. I, I do really like it a lot, but it is not the name. Next up is Isabella. Isabella is like so traditional, so chic, so elegant in my opinion. I don't love Izzy. I don't love Bella. I really like Isabella. But with that said, we are not naming her Isabella. I don't love names that can be shortened easily. It's just a personal preference. I, I, whatever we name our daughter, like I'm sure she's gonna get nicknamed, like I'm not, you know, an idiot, but I prefer names that you sort of are forced to call them the proper whole name. Cause I grew up with a lot of people like, you know, 
their name was like, I called them something and then really their name was this whole other thing and I never even knew because that was like, I don't know, just, it's a long story. We are not going with Isabella. Number six is Mia. Mia is so cute and pretty. I love Mia. I just didn't, I didn't see it for our daughter for whatever reason. I just, I didn't think that it was gonna be her name. Next up is Luna. Luna is so pretty and so unique. We actually have friends that are pregnant as well, do very close to my due date. And I believe they have picked this name. So we are not about to steal their name, but I, I actually didn't even think of it really, to be honest. And then I heard it from them for the first time and I was like, oh, that's so pretty. I knew in my heart and in my gut that it just wasn't our daughter's name. It's their daughter's name and uh, it's beautiful, it's pretty, but we're not gonna use it. Next up is Harper. I love this name so much. I know Victoria Beckham's daughter is named Harper. That's like the only one that I really know of. Harper, it's just so, it's beautiful. I love it. It works for a little girl. It works for like an older woman as well. Like I can be like 30, hi, I'm Harper, nice to meet you. Like I think it just works. It's really cute, but it is not our name. Next up is Valentina. Valentina is like so pretty, so like fun and vibrant. I don't love how it can be shortened. I don't love Val, I don't love Tina, but Valentina is a cute name. I feel like it might be a little bit of a mouthful for a little girl to learn, but all in good time. And um, yeah, love it, but won't be using it. Next up is Ariana. I've always been a fan of this name, Ariana. Obviously it's a little bit more popular. So I do know a couple of Arianas. So maybe for that reason, I would try and stay away, but that would be really the only reason. Otherwise I really, really like the name. I think it's really cute and um, great for a little girl and an older mature woman. And Ari as like a nickname is cute as well. So I actually don't mind it. Next up is Eva. Eva is so pretty to me. I love how it's short and simple and easy to spell. That's always great. Names get botched so easily and all the time. So just E-V-A is just very, very nice and chic and simple and easy. We have friends that just named their daughter this and uh, it's I think it's beautiful. We will not be going with it though. Gabriella is up next. I've always loved this name, even from when I was a little girl. I don't love Gabby, I'm not gonna lie. I don't hate it. Again, I have this weird thing with like, I just want her to be called her full name for whatever reason. I, maybe that's all parents. And then the kids just like pick whatever nickname they want. I really, really do like Gabriella. I just would want her to be called Gabriella from start to finish. It was actually one of the names that I like sort of like shortlisted. And then we just decided, no. Next is Brooklyn. Brooklyn is so cute. I really like this name. I, I don't know if it, I can picture it for an adult. Like obviously it would be fine, but I just for whatever reason get some sort of like blockage there. Our last name is Laduca. So I do like Brooklyn Laduca. So not like a hard stop like on a consonant and then like Laduca afterwards. I think that sort of balances nicely. I don't think my husband was like a super fan of it. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. I didn't see it for her for whatever reason. Naomi is another girl's name that I think is so beautiful and uh, very sort of like almost a bit of mystery behind it, Naomi. I really like it. And I don't have any good reason for you as to why we are not using it. We just aren't. Ooh, next up is Aurora. And my husband really likes this name a lot. And the other ironic thing is that we actually both grew up in a town called Aurora. That's where we met too. So there's like so much symbolism there and like a lot of that stuff. Also like the Aurora Borealis is like beautiful. It's like lights, like there's so much to unpack with this name. I did consider it for a split second. My only setback and the reason why I sort of said no for this name is I just thought it was gonna be such a tongue twister for her, like Aurora, like, even as an adult, I trip over that name, like Aurora. Like it's just a lot of like, blah, like, you know what I mean? So I was like, oh, I don't wanna do that to her. I want her to have just an easy name that she can say, no problems whatsoever. But I do think it's very pretty and it's very unique. And uh, I, I don't know really any girls, I don't think named Aurora. So maybe for our, if we have another girl, maybe that could be her name, but it is not for the one that we're having in seven weeks. Mila is the next one on the list. I always think of Mila Kunis because that's, just the only, I think, Mia, Mi Mila that I really know. It's beautiful though, Mila. It's just, it's it's such a beautiful name, Mila, Mila. It's so like calm and soft and beautiful. I, I love it, but it is a no for us. Next up is Gia. I really am liking these like three letter 
Mila, Gia, Gia, Eva, like these, I, I really gravitate towards those names. Gia is a very pretty name. Again, no good reason why we aren't using it. I just, we're, we, I didn't, it didn't click. Like when you get the name, you're like, that's it. And for some, like none of these did that for me. So that's why they have made it onto this list. But Gia is beautiful, very like classy and strong. Yeah, I like it. The next one is Ella. This is another one of those like, <laughs> like one, three to four letters that's like, you know, simple and easy. Again, it can't be shortened, maybe L, but like I doubt anyone would really like just say Ella. It's so much easier. Yeah, it's beautiful. I just, uh, again, don't see it for our daughter. The next one is Nova. This one's really cool. I don't really know any girls named Nova, but it's a beautiful name. I, I like it a lot. I think it's very unique, very cool. Nova, hi, I'm Nova. Hi, I'm Nova, nice to meet you. Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's cool. I do, I think there's a car model out there named, called Nova, I could be wrong. Regardless, it's uh, it's cute. I, I do like it, but we will not be using it. And last but not least, number 20 is Lexi. And I love this name so much, but we named our dog Lexi. So that's why we're not gonna be naming our daughter that. But to be honest with you, when we were naming Lexi our puppy, we were like, shit, should we save this name in case we're having a, cause we didn't know we were having a girl yet. So we were like, oh my God, like what if we wanna name our daughter Lexi? Should we save it? Whatever, but we were just like, you know what? No, we love it so much. It's the dog's name for sure. That being said, I don't think that Lexi is a dog's name. I think Lexi is a person's name. We just named our dog a human name. Like, you know, people that name their dog like James, <laughs> or like, you know what I mean? So if your name is Lexi, I'm not calling it a dog's name or a pet's name. Um, we uh, we named our dog a human name. But yeah, it's it's beautiful. I love the name so much, Lexi. Like, and, and of course now I have a tie to it. It reminds me of my dog who I love so much. She's so beautiful. So I think it's such a cute, fun name. Very like feminine and, and everything like that. But again, dog's name, so we're not gonna be using it. So I'm so excited to share with you guys what our daughter's name is going to be. We do have it, but I'm just afraid to say it for, I don't wanna get it stolen or anything like that. But very soon, seven weeks, you guys will know what the name is. So that's it. That is the top 20 baby girl names of 2021 that I absolutely love, but will not be using. So that's it for this video. If you guys wanna watch my other videos, please subscribe to my channel. I post twice a week and you can follow me on Instagram for more.